Instead of completing today's warm-up in your composition book, you will be using the number lines found in your book on page 345. So turn in your workbook to page 345. And then you are going to plot each of these points and their opposites on the number line. And you will label the opposites A prime. That's what that little apostrophe in the top right would mean. A prime, B prime, and C prime. So I'm going to show you what it looks like for number one, and then you'll try two through four. So we have, this would be A, and then A prime would be negative six. We have B is at two, so B prime would be at negative two. C is at negative five, so C prime would be at positive five. Complete number two. three and four before you move on to the lesson. Here it says for problems one through four, complete the table. The description says, so he drives 50 miles east. The opposite would, to would be to drive 50 miles west. So the numerical value and this one would be 50. We can create that little north, south, east, and west. So the opposite numerical value would be negative 50. On the number line, we're going to graph both of those points, 50 and negative 50. Then we need to write an addition expression. 50 plus negative 50. And the number sentence would say 50 plus negative 50 is 0. Another way we could graph those is we would start at 0 and head 50 to the east and then we would go 50 to the west, and we would end up back at zero. In this one, it says Logan loses $5. The opposite would be to gain $5. If you lose $5, that's negative five. And if you gain, that would be positive five. So we're going to start at 0 and head towards negative 5, and then we're going to go the opposite direction. Negative 5 plus 5 would be our expression, but our number sentence has an equal sign, and that puts us back at 0. Here I have a vertical number line. It says, Kabir goes 12 floors in an elevator. So he would go down 12 floors. Here up would be positive and down would be negative. In our vertical number line, we would start at zero and go up 12, and then we would head back down 12, leaving us at 0. So we have 12 plus negative 12, which comes out to 0. In number 4, we have the temperature drops 8 degrees, so it would raise or increase 8 degrees. A 
a drop would be negative 8, and an increase would be positive 8. So first we're going to drop 8, and then we're going to raise 8. And we return to 0. For number 5 and 6, complete the table by using two of the opposite actions identified by you or one of your classmates. So in number 5, I am going to create one, and then in number 6, you'll create one on your own. I'm going to say that you... went down under the C, so you decrease your elevation, 10 below sea level. The opposite would be 10 above sea level. Here below would be a negative and above would be a positive. We need zero in the middle. We went below sea level, then we came back up 10. Try to come up with your own for number six. Then label your number line and fill in your boxes. Plot a point on the number line, then plot a second point at its opposite value. How about 7? The opposite value would be negative 7. Find the absolute values of both of the numbers you plotted. Remember, absolute value is the distance away from 0. 7 is 7 away from 0. And negative 7 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 away from 0 as well. Absolute value is represented by the bars on both sides of the number. English mathematicians John Wallace, who lived from 1616 to 1703, was the first to suggest displaying positive and negative numbers on a straight line. Here are some of Wallace's own words about the number line. Supposing a man to have started at A and, if advancing five yards to B, he then retreated eight yards to D. And it be asked, how much forwarder is he than when he was at A? I say negative three yards. That is to say, he is advanced three yards less than nothing, which, in propriety of speech, cannot be, since there cannot be less than nothing. And therefore, as to the line AB forward, the case is impossible. But if the line from A be counted backward, we shall find D at the distance of three yards behind A, so that plus 3 signifies 3 yards forward, and negative 3 signifies 3 yards backwards, but still in the same straight line. Number 9 asks us to put number labels on Wallace's diagram. He starts the walk at A, so label A as 0. Label the remaining points and then reread Wallace's description. What do you think he is trying to say? Okay, so supposing a man starts at zero and he advances five yards to B, so B should be five. He then retreats eight yards. So if we go back eight, four, three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. 
And then this one should be three. All right, so let's read it again and see if we can determine what he's trying to say. Suppose a man started at zero and advances five yards to the five. He then retreats eight yards to negative three. How much forward or how much more forward is he than when he was at zero? He's negative three. To say that he had advanced three yards less than nothing, it doesn't make sense. And therefore, as to the line from zero to five, forward, the case is impossible. But if the line from A to B, A to, from zero be continued backward, we should find negative three yards or three yards behind A. So positive three would signify three forward and negative three signifies three backwards. So what is he trying to say? He's trying to say that instead of going negative three yards, we can think of a negative number as going backwards three yards from where he started. So you can think of the negative as going backward. Make sure your workbook is filled in and that you have completed number six with your own scenario, as well as your warm up. Remember, it's not in your composition book, it should be in your workbook.